Alright guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new, I do want to welcome you guys to my channel. Um, thank you guys for subscribing and if you guys are just watching and not subscribed, to make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you guys and, notif and make sure your notification bells are turned on so that you guys are notified of every time I upload my videos. With today's um, video, I am going to be doing a massive makeup haul. Um, I did put everything into this bin here um, and it is just full of goodies that I've been um, getting over time. Um, so yeah, so um, if you guys want to see what I have got new, what I bought that is new um, to my makeup collection. You guys might have this, so if you guys have any of these products that I do mention, please comment down below um, and let me know how you guys like them. Um, with that being said, make sure that you guys are subscribed to make sure that no the notification bell is turned on. Make sure you guys like the video and go ahead and um, tag me over on Instagram um, if you guys recreate any looks or if you guys want me to do a specific look or anything makeup related, go ahead and um, show my Instagram some love. Um, with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, um, so there's quite a bit, so I'm not sure i put some stuff in. Alright guys, so there is quite a bit of stuff in my bucket. Um, my table is not very big, so hopefully I have enough room for all of this stuff so I'm able to put it away. And yeah, so let's go. Let's go ahead and dig in. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to, that I grabbed out of my box is the Smashbox Primer and Moisturizer in one. It is the Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer. And it looks like this. It says that it's plus 135% hydration, 88% said it makes, oh, 35, 135 people percentage says that it's hydrated, 88% said that it made their makeup last all day, 97% said that it's lightweight, 91% says that it's flawless. So let's go ahead and open the package and see what it looks like. Um, so it's just a nice glass um, bottle. It does have a pump, which I really appreciate when brands that do make their products like foundations and primers and stuff with a pump it just makes it way more easier um, so yeah so let's go ahead and put a tiny bit maybe there it goes so it is a white um color and it does it is pretty watery it doesn't come out watery but I mean it does feel hydrated for sure and it does feel pretty good oh, my skin kind of just ate up that hydration just so it just you know sucked it up um, I do like how it feels on um, the skin. Um, it doesn't feel oily or anything like that, so cannot wait to use this. So the next thing I wanted to show, show you guys is actually two products. It's the same thing, but in different colors, and it is the new Kiss Lash Glue Liner. Like looks like this, and I did grab the black one and the white one. Um, or, I mean, it's the black and the clear. And from what I've seen on other YouTube videos is that you can use this as a regular, like, winged eyeliner, like it shows here. And then you just stick your lashes right on there. I do, I did hear from um, Juicy Jazz video. Um, she did use this. And she says that it, it is very hard to take off. Um, so... We'll see about that. Um, they both say that it's a clear matte finish. It's a foolproof and easy to touch up. Um, 
So yeah, I cannot wait to use this because the regular loose, oh, the regular lash glue, I just, I always have a hard time with it and my eyelashes never stick on like for a whole entire day um, without lash glue. So I'm hopefully praying, hoping that this actually keeps my lashes on for longer. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention is some lip liners. I have three from NYX, and I do have the color, these are the Professional Makeup Matte Lip Liners, and I have three of them. Oh. I have two sandstorms and one London and they do look like this so I guess yeah so I have two of the same color and then one of the other one um, I heard really good things about those colors so can't wait to use them I do have another one and it is a nude truffle which looks like that here's the color hopefully you guys can see it I am growing my lip liner collection so I am trying to get more lip liners of nudes but yeah um so the next thing I have um I seen this at Target and I wanted to pick it up and try it out I have never tried a cream blush before um I did hear the Fenty ones are pretty good, so um, I am waiting for some colors to come into stock and hopefully get those. But I did find one from Maybelline. It is the Cheek Heat Gel Cream Blush. That looks like that. And I did get the color Nude Burn. It just looks like that. Um, so the next things I got are some more lip liners and they are from Milani and they are the understatement lip liners. I got one in the color 160 Cafe Elite, 170 and Saucy Toffee. Those are the colors there. Um, I did go ahead and pick up some, just some spoolie, some mascara wands. Um, so yeah, I don't know why those were in there. Um, so e.l.f. just came out with a couple of like um, facial oil mist. And I picked one up and it is the facial oil mist in Soothing. And it does look like this. Let's take this out and see how the sprayer is. Maybe. So this is what the sprayer looks like. It's a really fine mist. So can't wait to use that. Um, some other things that I got, and I did want to mention that I do believe that not everything in here is makeup related. There is some hair products as well, um, and skincare, I do believe. So actually these next two products are skincare. So um, my mom is always raving about turmeric. She uses it for everything. Um, and so when I seen that Neutrogena had um, of this, I picked it up and because I wanted to try it out, especially because it says turmeric. And I am one that would smell, bad smell, um, it just makes me gag and makes me vomit for some reason. I don't know why. Apple cider is one of those things. Um, but it is the Neutrogena Soothing Clear Turmeric Mousse Cleaner. It says it cleanses and calms stressed acne poor skin. And it looks like this and it is yellow. So I cannot wait to use that. I also got this from like the same line. 
Um, it is the Soothing Clear Turmeric Jelly Makeup Remover, which looks like this. And I cannot wait to try this out. I have been using just like make pure makeup wipes, um, but I feel like they kind of, you know, I'm feeling maybe up to three videos a day and having to like rub my eyes constantly, it's like a very hard on them on my eyes my eyes are already dry as it is so I just feel like my eyes just get way more like dried out and like hurting so I wanted to try out some like um, makeup balms and things like that so when I seen that they had this and with turmeric I wanted to try it out so hopefully this will do uh, so the next thing I wanted to sh share is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Blush 3 palette and it looks like that. Um, Juicy Jess is always raving about this palette and so I wanted to pick it up. I did pick mine up over on um, over at Walmart. My Walmart actually is starting to have like a whole section for just Pro Fusion. Um, I seen that I think they came out with um, some type of foundation or something um so it looks like it has like a three um four blushes and maybe two um like matte blushes and two very shimmery palette uh two very shimmery ones um so yeah these are this one here is kind of coming off yellow but i'm this one here is coming off yellow, but it is more of a Cora color in person, so I cannot wait to use that as a blush to try these out. I'm always, I don't have very many like bronzers, blush, or lip liners, um, so I'm just trying to grow my my products in those kind of area, areas. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, go ahead and comment down below. I also wanted to try the Physician's Formula formula butter collection and I got a um Wiley Hong um palette I have never tried anything from physicians formula before so when I heard that um the butter bronzer is like the best thing ever I wanted to try out Oh, and I also have heard that the blushes are pretty good as well. So I wanted to pick something up that had both bronzer and blush together because Physicians Formula is a drugstore brand, but it is more on the pricey side of things. So here's what that looks like. It does come with um, a highlighter. This one here is a highlighter. And then this one here is a blush and then a bronzer. So highlighter, blush, bronzer, and then the same down here. This is a, I'm assuming this is a highlighter. So it's highlighters here, blushes in the middle, and then bronzer on the on the end and it does says that these four colors here are limited edition um, which is whimsical apricot wildflower and I am not going to even mention this one because it's just one that I'm not going to be able to say so it says apricot Wildflower, Golden Hour, and Whimsical are all like limited editions. These ones here are the broad butter bronzers, which I do believe you can buy like separate. And so it has the butter bronzer, the deep bronzer, and then it has the sunset bronzer, which is more of a lighter one. So I cannot wait to try this out for sure. Uh, so the next thing I have is the Lash Couture Luxe Tensions Collection um, Lashes. Um, this, mine says that they're new. Um, it says they're super slim band to light and flexible wear. And I have mine in the style Russian volume. And it says the ultimate lash extension look. So that is what the, that looks like. 
So I cannot wait to try that out. Uh, so the next two products are going to be hair. Um, I do have a few more hair things in there, but um, so this is the Cake Naturally Luxe Beauty. Um, it's the Do Gooder Totally to Die For Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And it looks like this from Cake. Um, I do hear a lot about this like brand in general, that it's a really good brand. Um, so I wanted to try it out. Um, the My Ride or Die um, shampoo, my dry shampoo is from... Um, it's the charcoal one. I can't remember what it's from, the brand anyways, but it's a charcoal um, like dry shampoo and I really love how that just leaves my hair. So I'm, and that one is a more of expensive one. The This one here is like six bucks, so, or even less. And I do believe that Ulta just started um, carrying it in store, so you're able to find it in store. And then I also have the Flux hairspray and then I also have the Gorilla Snot um, gel which looks like this I seen um, Amanda Ensign using this um, like she uses it to actually like set her eyebrows or comb, and, comb them up so I wanted to try that out um, and see how I like it so that is why I bought that the next thing I have is the Drew Care Berry Melting Melting Makeup Remover Balm, which looks like that is the package. I did pick mine up at Ulta. This is more on the pricey side. Um, it is about like 20 something bucks. Um, so it's just a really nice white and purple. Um, I do like how it comes like with this little thing here. And it is pretty, it's just like a balm. And it is purple, which I kind of like that. Excuse me, how that goes. And it also comes with this like little spatula. The other thing I picked up, and I some of this stuff, guys, is from Walmart, T, um, TJ Maxx, and Target. I wanted to also mention that. Um, so I did pick up this three set of facial cleansing wipes, and it says it's vitamin C. One is vitamin C, one is coconut mint and one is lavender shade i've never tried to like scented makeup wipes before i do have a very sensitive um face very sensitive skin so let me just show you what i usually use i usually use the equate beauty original clean like towelettes from walmart and i get mine like in a pack of three um and those have been working great for me um but i want it to be more um like, I'm working more, I'm trying to get better at my skincare routine. Um, and so I did want to try something that is, like, has, like, you know, more of a healthier side of my of skincare, like vitamin C and coconut. I'm pretty sure that all of those things are really good for your skin. So I wanted to pick something up with that um, so I can try it out and see how I like it. Um, so I have a couple of, um, lipsticks here, and, or, these ones are actually lip glosses. Let me see if I have any more lip glosses anywhere. Okay. That way I can just show them to you guys all at once, like, and not have to, like, dig for everything right which I am already okay okay so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten um liquid lipsticks for you guys um and I do believe they are all drugstore um to be honest uh, my most of my um, like lips, lip liners, blushes, things like that are more drugstore. Um, I do go for more high-end um, eyeshadows. Um, that's just, I like more how they perform. So anyways, going with that, I have two of the new Maybelline Elliptic Glosses, which looks like this. I do already have, I think, 
two more already that I bought previously, or maybe one. But I did grab the darker shades, and I do have them in the color Topaz and Stone. So here is Topaz and Stone. And I picked these up because I thought they were really good, like, fall colors. And fall, you know, you more lean towards, like, browns and reds. So I really thought that those would be fun for fall. So I went ahead and picked those up. Um, I have one from Revlon. And it is, um, I don't think these are new. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And I just have mine and act natural which is just this nice like looks like a pinky like nude color on camera it's like really nude but in person it's more of like a mauve color so wanted to pick that up i do have let's see a milani keep it full nurturing lip plumber lip plumber plumper sorry lip plumper and champagne and it is just a really nice, I'm assuming it's just like a lip gloss. So. But I have mine in 01 and it's just champagne. I also have two from e.l.f. And the first one is a lip lacquer, or they're both lip lacquers, but one's more of a, um, this one here, this one here is more of like a lip gloss. And this one is in fantasy. And then this one, this brown color, is moody. And on camera, this one here is showing pretty, like, kind of orangey color. But in person, it's more of a darker color. Let's see if I can show you. So it is more of a darker color, I promise, than what it's showing on camera. The other one is just like a lip gloss really yeah it's just like a clear with like an orangey kind of sparkle color then I have one from Maybelline and this one is Chai Genius and it's just a nice dark brown color um, again I am Picking more stuff um, like for fall and stuff, um, but in my collection I go for more browns anyways and nudes, so I wanted to pick that up. So the next three are from CoverGirl, and oops, sorry, the next two are from CoverGirl, and it they are the Outlast Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. Um, I don't know if these are new or not, um, but I've never seen these before, and so I wanted to pick them up. I have Cafe Latte, which is this one here, and Love You Mocha. Um, I do have another NYX um, lip la matte lip liner in Cold Brew, which is a nice darker shade here. Um, I also got the Hard Candy, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer, which looks like that. I did hear that this is, a, I did hear that this is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, so I wanted to pick this up and do like a side by side kind of thing, um, to see if it is. The next thing I have is the collab, um, I collab oh my god um concealer and I have mine in peach I did pick mine up from Sally's um so this is I have actually already opened this to try out the sponge um this is from Amazon and it's the blend face like microfiber blenders um I really didn't actually like this um this is what it looks like um, it reminded me of the Juno, Juno and Co. Um, sponges, and I very, I did not like those at all. So I'm gonna keep using it and see how I feel about it. But 
I might put that one to the side and do like a giveaway or something with it. But yeah, it was not something that I actually liked. I also have the Derma E Radiance Brightening Day Cream, which looks like that. And I do believe I picked mine up at TJ Maxx. And it just looks like this. I have recently started, and it's just like a cream, um, using a like a vitamin C um, moisturizer in my skincare routine in the morning um, and at night, um, just to you know give me give my face some um, more firmness and just trying to take more better. Um, care of my skin overall. So the next thing I picked up are some um, nail sets and one is from Salon Perfect and it's the Luxe nail set and they look like that. And these are um, what is that like a almond shaped um, nail with nude and like black studs which is very pretty and then the next one are from kiss and it's just again the almond shaped black with leopard nudes wanted to try them out i did i do have my nails painted recently but anyways wanted to try something else out new okay so i also have Um, the Milani Fruit Fetish Stay Put Bright Eyeliner, and I have mine in, um, Pinker of the Berry, which looks like that, and the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last Spray, and Mango Coconut. I do have, I do believe, like, the whole collection, and I have already used them in previous videos, um, and I really did enjoy the Make It Last setting sprays. Um, the other liquid liner, I do believe it comes in yellow or like an orangey color, I did not like. So we'll see how that one performs. And yeah. Um, so the next thing is the cake also for hair. It's the Totally To Die For Nourishing Miracle Serum, which looks like that. Um, I did previously dye my hair, um, and I did go, like, a blonde, kind of almost platinum blonde, um, but just recently I did put in some low lights, um, for fall, and I did want to use, I do want to use, like, a serum to keep my hair as healthy as possible, because it is pretty long, and I don't want to cut it, so hopefully that works. The next um, liquid lipstick I have is also from Revlon. It's the Vinyl Lip Polish. And I have mine in the color Birthday Suit. Looks like that. Um, then I also have a ColourPop um, glitter. And it is in Glam Rock. Which looks like that. Open it up. And it does come with like a little thing here and there is what it looks like. It's a really nice like jelly. Um, it does look like it has some green, some gold um, sparkles. Now can you tell the boys to be quiet because I'm filming a video. And tell Karian that if he doesn't get to his work that he's not going to the haunted house. Um, it does have a weird smell to it, um, but yeah, so we'll see how that works. Um, I also have from Elf the Corrector, Correct and Set Eye Powder. Boys, be quiet! Excuse me, I have the Elf Correct and Set Eye Powder in Banana, and it's just a little um, travel size that I got with the purchase that I got from Elf itself. Um, so the next thing is from 
Cyanide London. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, so if I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, but it is a Marbled Light Dusk. I'm not sure if this is a blush or a highlighter, but that is what it looks like. I'm going to use it as a blush, so if it's not a blush, then comment down below. Alright, so I'm going to show you the NYX lipsticks that I have. Um, I have four of them, and then, oh, sorry, I have NYX. I have three NYX colors, um, and these are the Shout Out Loud um, satin lipsticks. And I have a la mode, which is this color here. And then I have, oh, and that one was the same as a la mode, and this is Kelly. Oh, I'll show you. It's more of a darker color. So these are the two colors that I got. I and then I have three Wet and Wild lipsticks. And I have, and this one here is a matte, and I have it in the color Never Nude, which just looks like that. And then I have Made for Mauve, which looks like that. And then I have some of these I'm finding out that I am getting doubles for some reason. And then the next one I have is Rosie and Slay. And it's just this more of a mauvey color here. It's really pretty. So let's see. So the next ones I have are from L'Oreal, and they are the, I'm not even sure what, um, they're just the L'Oreal. I have three colors. I have 983, which is almost taupe. It looks like that is almost taupe. And then I have Defiant Orchard, which is a more of a darker color. And then I have 974 Full Blown Fawn. And it's just like a more of a like cool tone brown, pretty much. And then the next colors I have are also from L'Oreal. And I have the color 800 Fairest Nude. Looks like that. If you can tell, I really like nudes. And then the next one is 808 Matte Cadamia. And it looks like that. This is a really pretty color. On camera, it's coming, it's kind of getting washed out, but in person, it's a very pretty color. There is a swatch of that. Um, and the last things that I have to show are actually um, lashes and these are all from Colourpop and um, they're the fox, fall, fall lashes, fox lashes, fall lashes. Um, and I didn't even know that Colourpop had lashes um, and so when I seen that they had lashes I went ahead and um, grabbed a few. So the next lashes are called Chick. And they look like that. The next one are called Me Meek. And they look like that. And then the next ones are called Shorty. And they look like that. Then the next ones are called Queenie. Those look like that. The next ones are called 
mammy, mommy. They look like that. The next ones are called Bay, and they look like that. All right, guys. So that is it for this makeup haul uh, video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Um, this haul with me, this massive makeup haul with me, and uh, make sure that you are subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on and that you also like this video. Um, with that being said, um, if you guys have any of these products and you guys have used them before, make sure you comment down below and let me know how they work for you. Um, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed and I will all see you guys next time. Bye guys.